Hello, I'm Carl from Sweden and I currently study computer science for my masters here at Chalmers and today I wanted to show you how and why I live in a van during my studies. Come on! Before we start, here are some timestamps so you can easily navigate the video. Now, let's go! So, obviously, living in a car is quite different in many ways from an apartment, but it actually works surprisingly good. I have my own sink and a 25 liter fresh water tank, a kitchen with an extendable counter, a single burner induction stove and a small 40 liter cool box fridge. A big dinner table that doubles as my workspace. In the back I have my bed which is just big enough to fit me diagonally. Lastly, after a lot of fixing with the bed, I can access my porta potty toilet if need be. All electricity is powered by this EcoFlow power station consisting of a 1.3 kWh lithium battery, an inverter and a solar regulator hooked up to a 300 watt solar panel on the roof. Still, living in a van isn't as comfortable as even the smallest of housings, so why would I do this? Well, one thing is the price. I bought this car back when it was a wheelchair bus for 100,000 Swedish crowns and converted it for another 35,000 crowns. So that's not cheap by any means compared to two years of apartment rent. But what you gotta consider is that I can sell this car when I no longer need it. Also, I must have a parking permit to have my van on campus. And for students, that's about 600 crowns a month. So that's at least very little compared to rent. And then there are taxes and insurances, but uh, like, I also get a car. So like, that's more car expenses than living expenses. Anyways, the big reason is of course, the ability to move and always have easy access to adventure. So while the view over Chalmers parking lot isn't that inspiring, during weekends and holidays, I can wake up to scenery no apartment in Gothenburg could offer. And that's about it. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.